I often come across the question, what should I make, by thieves and rangers during pug runs or my comped runs because they wonder why they aren't being put into groups with the heel brand or med scrapper. This is normally because in World vs. World, there are very few thief and ranger builds that contribute to group play, and the builds that do are for very niche or specific groups that run a comp that includes things like immobilized soul beast. Comp refers to team composition. Squads are normally organized into subgroups of five. For most squads in World vs. World, the comp of each subgroup would have one heal firebrand, one medkit scrapper, and usually three DPS, with one of them being a necro for strips, or sub the necro for a chronomancer to get both strips and utility. If you do run with a guild, and your only class is thief or ranger, speak with the guild leads to see if this is acceptable. If not, your solutions are to make a comped class and work towards a comped build or not play with the guild during the comped run. I would 100% recommend you working towards comped build because a lot of guilds will have members that are more than happy to help you or give you advice with leveling and getting gear. If you're unsure what to make, I have one suggestion. Make a guardian. This video will go over all the reasons I would suggest starting with a Guardian as your first class and what to do from there. But before I get started, be sure to like and subscribe so you'll be notified of all my future videos. The damage, utility, and support that a Power Guardian brings on its own, with stability and stun breaks through Stand Your Ground and the Virtue F3 skill, already makes you a helpful member of your subgroup when the utility skills are used at well calculated and coordinated times. If you'd like to watch the beginner's DPS guide for Power Guardian, I have left a link in the video description. While you use a Power Guardian, I would recommend working towards a heal firebrand. The build is linked in the description. This is one, if not the most, important elite specialization to have in a world v world organized subgroup due to its quick access to group stability, stun breaks, heals, and damage mitigation through blocks and the boon's protection and resolution. The fastest way to unlock a firebrand is to find a hero point or HP train. You can just keep checking for trains on Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire maps through the LFG looking for a group tool. Hero point trains are easier to find on weekends during peak hours of gameplay. You can only unlock these hero points once per character, so if you finish a Heart of Thorns HP train for example, it's pointless to do another Heart of Thorns HP train on the same character unless you're doing it for the experience. If you finish the Heart of Thorns HP train and need to unlock another elite specialization, then you can look for a Path of Fire HP train. Both trains may require specific mounts or gliding masteries. After unlocking the heal firebrand and equipping it with all the required gear, you can either stop there or work on unlocking the Dragon Hunter Elite Specialization. Of course I would recommend unlocking Dragon Hunter. You can pretty much use the same equipment as the Power Core Guardian, but now you'll have access to traps and a gap closer through your Virtue F2 skill, Wings of Resolve. The playstyle is very similar to the Power Core Guardian, but it adds additional burst from the trap Procession of Blades. Once you've unlocked Heal Firebrand and Power Guardian, you're pretty much set, unless you want to take it a step further and make a Burn Guard, Burn Brand, and Burn DH. But I'll have to save those for a future video. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, I'm always open to suggestions for future videos, so feel free to drop a comment below.